Good morning guys, um, it's Sunday the 23rd of June, uh, I've just got out of the allotment uh, with my brother to get the last of these blocks down um, and hopefully strip the rest of the green atlas behind me. Weather doesn't look too good today but hopefully get it all done. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of time lapses so I'm probably not going to try and do them in this video, see if it comes out any better, but I'm going to crack on with uh, the rest of the greenhouse and hopefully get it done um, not mixing up a full bag of cement this time as I've only got one run to go but hopefully I should be able to get this side done so if I turn you around just want to get that one side up this side done basically uh, get the last of the blocks down and then possibly try and get the last of the glass out of the greenhouse and try and see if I can get it up off the concrete base so see you again in a minute
Okay guys, so I've uh, laid that layer of blocks. Um, as you can probably see in the two little clips I tried to record, I was doing it, it was the two corners. I've actually put in um, driveway blocks. So the reason I put the driveway blocks in is just because I couldn't be bothered to cut a breeze block. Um, 
as I didn't want to ruin it as I've only got so many. Uh, and hopefully I've done it right. So if I flip you guys around, you'll be able to see. So we got the wooden uh, sort of thing back on top just to see, and it's just barely fitting. So as you can see in this corner here, we put a driveway block on the outside so I could bring the uh, breeze blocks out a bit. And I've run this down to this corner, but for some reason, as you can see if I move this, we've got a bit of an overhang. I'm hoping that's not going to affect it too much and we might be able to get with it. This corner is a, a right angle, that corner is a right angle, that corner is a right angle. Hopefully this one's a right angle, to be honest, I haven't even checked. I'll be 100% honest with you guys. But hopefully that should work. I'm now going to uh, dismantle the greenhouse, as you can see my brother's already in there. We're going to get the last of the bits of glass and plastic out and then hopefully uh, lift it off the concrete today if we can. If we can't, we can't. I'll have to come up with a sledgehammer and smash the hell out of it, try and get it broken up. So I'll put it on a stand, guys, and I'm sorry it's going to be a time lapse. For some reason, if you're wondering why I'm looking around like a blue ass fly basically, I've lost the standing I think. I remember putting it down on the chair, but yeah, I'm quite prone to losing stuff so hopefully I find it. Bingo, found it.
Okay, so that's free side being cleared. Um, we've only got the back to go, the back of the glass. I have got two little triangles just above the door. Um, I'm gonna try and get off now, and then we're gonna hit on the back. Okay, so that's pretty much most of that done. Um, still got the back to go, but I've actually got to head back now. I've got, I had an appointment today, meeting an old friend. So I'm gonna go back and do that. And then we're probably gonna come back this afternoon and carry on. So we'll see you then. Okay guys, so I'm back up the allotment again. Um, it's just started raining, so I'm not gonna keep the camera up for too long. But as you can see, we pretty much got most of the greenhouse done earlier. Just got the back panel to do. Um, and then one more triangle above the door and that should be done. But as I got up here, I could just see, like just a sea of purple flowers from my potatoes. If I turn around and show you guys, literally, really nice purple flowers. And this is from my blue danberries. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much longer and I can start cropping them. But for now, uh, I'm going to put you guys back in the way in the shed just for keep the camera safe really. I don't want to lose 400 pound camera just to, due to rain. So we'll uh, we'll go from there and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we've got all the glass off the greenhouse now. Um, I'll take you in and show you around. So basically we've got all the glass off completely on all sides. Up here was a right pain. Uh, as you can see, it's covered in silicone. Um, whoever previously did this, basically just siliconed everything in and made it such a ball ache. But we got it all off now, so that's all the glass gone completely, all the way round. All the back was uh, was glass. There is some that's plant. So basically, all this on the floor is glass. Um, we are breaking it up, getting it into rubble bags. Then the rubble bags will be taken to the tip, and we'll get rid of them. Um, I want this allotment to be a glass-free allotment, if I can, really. Um, I only want to use like smash-proof perspex, just because it's because I'm moving the greenhouse so close to the fence, I don't want the risk of someone hitting it or anything really. This path's used by a lot of kids and just people. So all you need is that one person to trip and fall or throw something or just kids being kids really. Um, it's not worth the risk. So I um, need to get a sledgehammer next. I've tried to lift this slightly off the concrete base, uh, but as you can probably see down here, the concrete's already breaking up, but um, it's not broken up enough yet to be able to actually lift the greenhouse off. Um, in the process, we're going to have to move the potatoes. That's just here. Um, shouldn't have put them there really, but I didn't realise I would be moving the greenhouse this quick. So hopefully pick up a sledgehammer tomorrow if I can from a friend. If not, screw fix, sell them quite cheap now. So it's worth keeping one for up the plot or for any work that needs to be done at home. So I think that's for it today, guys. Um, hopefully going to be up here again tomorrow. So there should be another video soon. But don't hold me to that. Uh, and that's it. Hope you all had a good weekend. And I'll see you again next time.